He needs to apologize to the women, um, and then I think he should seek help, and I think he should step out of the race. Apologize, seek help, and get out of the race. That was Nebraska Republican Governor Pete Ricketts, who has been term limited, talking about one of the Republicans who was running to replace him, Charles Herbster. According to a Nebraska Examiner expose, over the past five years, Herbster has groped eight women. Uh, the women allegedly victimized were in their late teens to mid-20s. One of the victims was allegedly a state senator named Julie Salama. She has said that on the record, as she walked by Herbster at a Republican event, he reached up her skirt without her consent and touched her inappropriately. Herbster is accusing these eight different women and the uh, Nebraska examiner of engaging in a conspiracy against him. And Governor Ricketts is suggesting that's crazy. Herbster is saying that the Republican establishment somehow created a conspiracy that these eight women are uh, somehow behind to accuse him of uh, uh, sexual assault and groping them and so forth. And I would say just read the article because that article is probably one of the most well-researched, corroborated articles I've ever seen on this topic. And you've got eight women who are part of this article and one of whom are a state senator who's come forward, and I believe Senator Salama, I believe her. About Charles Herbster, he is a CEO who is very wealthy, very powerful in Nebraska politics. He's been a donor in Republican circles for many years. Um, he is also known as somebody who always wears a cowboy hat, and he has repeatedly served as a judge at beauty pageants. Well, it gets even more interesting with this wrinkle. Herbster is the candidate who has been endorsed for governor, by Donald Trump. That's right, Donald Trump has selected Herbster as the one that he wants to be governor of Nebraska. And of course, Donald Trump has been accused of a sexual misconduct by more than 20 women. There was the infamous affair that he had with Stormy Daniels, the adult film star, uh, apparently while his Trump's wife was pregnant. Um, and then of course, there was the infamous audio tape where Donald Trump can be heard many years ago talking to Billy Bush about how he liked to grab women by the... Well, um, Governor Ricketts was asked, what's the difference between your condemnation, very strong condemnation of Charles Herbster now, and a somewhat different tone that Ricketts has taken towards Donald Trump? And here's how the governor responded. I think it's very different when you're looking at accusations of sexual assault, which is what Charles Herbster is involved, versus the lewd comments the president was making. You may recall at the time, I condemned those remarks and said that I would not be contributing to his campaign. So uh, I think they're two very different things. I don't think they're, I think when you're talking about allegations of sexual assault, that's a very different thing. Not exactly a profile encouraged there by Nebraska Republican Governor Pete Ricketts because while he tries to draw a distinction between lewd language and sexual assault, Donald Trump has been accused of both. In any case, under Nebraska law, a person who touches somebody else inappropriately without their consent outside of their clothes is guilty of third degree sexual assault. And that is what we are talking about here with a leading Republican candidate for Nebraska governor. According to national statistics, one out of six women in the United States will be sexually assaulted at some point in their life. Most of these incidents, though, do not happen in public, only 15%. So that is why Charles Herbster is being seen, I suppose, as particularly brazen in what he has been doing. Uh, analysts say that uh, a lot of men who engage in this sort of thing do so because of power or their desire to seek power over women. Victims, of course, can face all sorts of ramifications afterwards, including PTSD, depression, isolation. Uh, they can feel trauma. So kudos to the National uh, Nebraska Examiner for putting this story together and also much respect to the eight women who agreed to participate in the story and try to piece together a full accounting of the behavior of Charles Herbster. Uh, by most accounts, Herbster is a creep and perhaps may be guilty of sexual assault. And Nebraska voters can do better in their next governor. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comment section.